Alicia's Keys may be one of the oldest ones in my piano library. When I did the original piano library breakdown, I did not have Alicia's Keys at the time. I do now. And so we can we can begin to explore the unique sonic sample that it has here. So um, initially we're on the initial sound. fingers are I haven't done that one in a while so they're not quite as separate as I would like them to be but that is a anyway it sounds great on these sort of things So that's just the initial sound there. Now, the settings in Alicia's keys are hidden. They're kind of like right here. <clears throat> and so now we can, we can add some other things like a digital ambience, which adds some noise. That's the size of it. I don't know that I necessarily want that. It's, well, you'll probably have to turn off my mic to hear it. Now that part you can hear clearly. There's like a hissing sound that engages as soon as you turn it on, so. Now let's try one of the more natural sounds like the convolution reverb. Right now we're at hall, we can change the amount from one to, uh, straight up the middle, seven? It goes from 1 to 14, so it must be 7. Come on. <laughs> Doesn't like to sit there. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's change the amount. Ooh, hear that digital. And that just doesn't quite sound too real, so I can see why they had it by default. Let's reset it real quick to that amount there. 
So that's a wet level. Okay, so small studios go back to initial. <coughs> back on, put it back to seven, It'll be less dry sounding. Now we have our stereo spread over here. That's in mono. Regular stereo would be in the center. And then super wide. All right, keys. Now this has to do with our velocity curve. We can make it concave. So this means that we can very quickly have a hard velocity sound. 100% um, convex. So this means it'll. I guess for you, a really hard player, that'll be good for you. Again, I'm using the most extreme example for uh, illustration purposes. Okay. And typically, and the, and there's there's fifteen, twenty, twenty five. 50 and 100% variations of each of these. So we're going to go to 25. So that's all that's pretty close to linear. We might actually leave it like that for now. <clears throat> latency of the finger tax select a low number for low latency, select a high number for the larger part of the original attack of the note to be included. Interesting. So that's not a huge amount. hear it kind of going away there as we've gone extreme just for and that's an interesting attack I, I'm, I'm gonna set it in the middle actually now these are milliseconds so Low numbers of milliseconds, I should say. 24, 12, and then zero, so 12. See, these are almost imperceptible. So we 
have that one. And then we'll go on to the pedal. Did I miss anything else with keys? No. Oh, yes. Self-masking and repetition. Uh, so we have our fade-out time. This is when a note is masked, released. It is faded out during this time. Okay. So right now it's on minima. I'm going to put it to there. So if we're going to go back to where it was. Very clean. This one was a long fade out. Yeah, it's still. Okay. Well, it hung on really long that time, and this time it's not doing it. So I'm going to leave it where they have it. Repetition friendly is nice. Kill only old notes, that's the... <laughs> this is interesting. Kill only old notes, what must that mean? So all these add various sounds. This one, I personally can't hear the difference. Uh, maybe you can. It is a feature that they have here. So I'm going to put it on repetition friendly. Go to pedal. And we have simulate half pedaling with impulse response. Now my, my sustain pedal, the FC4A, may not be the best for uh, half pedaling. As I recall, it doesn't quite do that. But... This is pedal controller, so this is saying CC64, number 64 is a sustain pedal. Um, if I do this. Then uh, my sustain pedal quits working, interestingly. So I think that's meaning you could use another, another uh, input to control sustain. In this case, we want it on 64 so that the sustain pedal will work. And sustenuto. I don't particularly have a pedal for that. That'll be number 66. All right, moving on to resonance. Sympathetic resonance is on, so let's test it. 
Oh, and let's turn on the silent keystrokes, which will make it even more like a little piano. So here we go. Oh. Doesn't quite work. This is probably because I have another effect on. I remember this happening with one of the other pianos. Anyway. neither the strongest nor the uh, most clear sympathetic resonance I've heard it I, I don't know if it's the weakest or not but it does work so pedal up pedal down Not hearing very much of that. That's okay. Where was pedal down? Let's put it there. Noise. Okay, here we go. Mechanical noise. Pedal up. Uh, was it? About there, so. Pedal down. Now maybe you can hear that, maybe you can't. It has the <laughs> let's let, let's make it so we can all hear it, shall we? So bring it back down here. That is on the the newer native instruments pianos, they call that the uh, the strings, the sound of the strings uh, having the dampers quickly pulled out of them so and once again extreme for illustration so pedal up pedal down the interesting one so let's hear that kind of the same sound interestingly So, so maybe this is just the thunk, and then we'll hear these. There we go. Release. Pressed. There we go. That's our string sound. And... Okay, now, <laughs> you don't want your mechanics that high normally. So I'm going to put it back to where it was. Uh -huh. Use it about like that. And then we will we will turn our, our instrument uh, volume back down to... Uh, there we go. Okay, microphone noise is something else. Um, Again, we have to turn off my microphone so you don't hear my microphone noise. That one was not very easy to hear. So, so I have that one. But that is an, an, an additional sound that you can put in. 
All right. And then here we have the credits uh, produced by Alicia Keys. Alicia, Alicia herself played the, the different velocities that were sampled. And now this is super loud. What have I done? Oh, I've turned up my headphones. That's a problem. Okay. <laughs> She played the velocities. And let's see, it was edited and programmed by Scarby. I believe he's her, he's her producer at, at the time. I don't know if he still is. Um, who also produced the uh, the Scarby guitar, right? That is also in here. I think we have. Yeah, we just... These other things, the, the uh, electric pianos, the bass, and other things, and vintage keys. All right, and script programming, Nils Lindbergh, and this name that I don't want to mispronounce, recorded samples, and so on. So, let's now look to the presets of Alicia's keys. And there's two ways you can access them. You can go, you can go right here, and you can go. So you can either hit the next arrow like that, or you can use the drop down, or you can go over here. Now, user preset, we don't have any of those. I should have just saved what I just did with it, but uh, next time I will do that. Let's put it on Big Studio. I just wanted to do it. Okay, well, we'll do it here then. All right. Now, in a stereo image, there is there's audience and there's artist. Um, by default, on the init, it was on artist position. Then go to audience. There's a slight a slight uh, distance, so there's a little less clarity on this. Let's go ahead and go to Big Studio, see what they've done. All right, linear, repeater friendly, pedal. Okay, there's, we got that, the resonance, pedal up, pedal down. Let's see if this works now. Oh, it does now. So one of these other effects is affecting whether or not the silent key engages. And someday I'll find out which one that is. Yeah, let's try another preset. Uh, let's just keep it with the big. Let's go with the big auditorium. Yeah, auditorium, not surprisingly, is the reverb. Uh, let's try another tab.
let's go let's go with a small studio Just feeling inspired right there, so I I had to I had to try it. <laughs> so that's pretty much it. It's, it has these 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 presets, and then you can go from the initial like we did, and you can you can add your your own uh, do your own sounds. Let's see. Let me see if I can. See, I think I had this in the middle. Yep. And had the repeat friendly. And that turned on. Yeah, this one exactly where it was. There we go. Uh, noise. Mm, I think those those noises are fine. You need to turn on the microphone noise or not. I might actually turn it on just a little bit there. Okay, then I can save this as one of my presets. Um, so we'll call this... Uh, uh, <laughs> initial impressions. All right. And save that. 
So. Modify it, of course. All right, so there we have Alicia's Keys. Nice instrument, I like it. And this one, all right. Well, let's, uh, Play something else with it. categories because I added a user one so let's go to it's in small studio wasn't it mm -hmm. 